Meredith McNeil is very much like John likes to say the truth in this movie, um, which I can agree because she says things that everybody else is thinking, you know, but they're just too afraid to say. And she really, even though some of her stuff can come out as a little harsh or a little vile at times, it's like she's honestly sort of the comic relief in a way and she keeps it light and, you know, she's the best friend to Claire um, and June. So they are like this trinity. So when we see Claire kind of going off in her own little world and she's under the influence of this music box, you know, it's, it's, it's really kind of disturbing to us and it's definitely disturbing to Meredith because that's not the girl she knows and the girl she loves and the girl she's friends with. So, um, but Meredith is very much like, uh, She's the cold, hard truth, man. <laughs> I graduated two years ago, so um, it hasn't been that long, but honestly, I, I think doing this movie and being a high schooler again kind of brings me back, obviously, because like you said, friendship is so important and having your girls around especially is so, so, so important and positive people around you is very important too. Um, so doing this movie, kind of like, even though you might not agree with some of the things that Meredith is saying and some of the stuff that Claire is doing. It's it's very relatable in a way. And even though it's kind of a far-fetched idea, the idea of, you know, the supernatural element, but still it's like the foundation of it is friendship and the foundation of it is where you fit in. And really the moral of the story is you don't have to do much to try to fit in. Like it's not, you know, high school is high school. You're gonna go on and be somebody, of course, outside of high school, and not everybody gets that. Um, and I, you know, I remember kind of having that time and that struggle when I was in high school. I mean, I think everybody does. So I think that's why it's gonna be so relatable. And every every person, you know, who's been to a real high school can relate for sure, whether you're a mom, whether you're in high school still, or whether you just graduated. So it's it's definitely a fun movie. I'm learning so much from him. Um, just seeing how he works, not only with the cameras, but he gets the performances out of the actors and does it in, you know, certain amount of takes, and that's that. And I love that, that we get out quickly and we're happy and everybody's happy. But he sets the tone for the set, and he does a really great job at keeping it fun and light, especially for something as... Um, you know, it's a big production. We have a lot to do, and it's it's a horror film, but at the same time, like you said, it is a fun movie. So John is, he's amazing. I'm so blessed to work with him. Okay, well, I'll say this. What happens in this movie will upset you <laughs> because you're going to love these characters. You're going to go through so much with these characters. You're going to see them evolve, and you're going to root for them especially. So when you see what the box has done it's gonna upset you for sure <laughs> and it's gonna it, you're gonna you might might be some tears might be a little laughter and that's what's so cool about this movie is that you'll get you'll get the best of both worlds so yeah so did you like that video well of some interesting movie extras facts for you matte paintings were extremely popular before the cgi era these are actual projections or paintings placed behind foreground objects to trick audiences into believing the actors were in a different location examples include the statue of liberty jutting out from the sand in planet of the apes from 1968 and the emerald city awaiting dorothy at the end of the yellow brick road in the wizard of oz from 1939 Subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.